Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Python tutorial for beginner. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you everything from the beginning to advance everything about Python. So first of all, in this tutorial, we need to install Python and we need to set up the environment so that we can run our Python project and I'm going to show you everything step by step. So first of all, I will install Python and then I will show you how we can run Python project. So first of all, in order to install Python, we need to search over here Python and after searching python on google here you can see python.org just go to our here python.org and i will also give this link in the description so after coming to this website here you can see download option and here on the right side here you can see download for windows and we can see the python version over here so the guide python version is 3.12 by 2 so right now we just click on this option over here and it will start downloading python over here here you can see it is downloading so here you can see the download is complete so after downloading just double click over here and then you will see something like this okay so here we first of all we just select those two options and then here you can see customize installation click on customize installation and everything over here is fine so right now we'll just click next and then here you can see install python 3.12 for all users so we need to check the first one over here so after that here you can see the location where the python will be installed and right now we'll just click on install option i'll click on install and after that it will start installing python so it may take some time like two to three minutes so right now i will just fast forward the video so here you can see that installation is complete so right now we can just close this so i click on close and right now we just search over here cmd it means you search for command prompt here you can see command prompt so we'll go to command prompt let me zoom in so here if we just search over here py then press enter there you can see you are able to see the python version and here we will be able to write our python code for example, if I just write over here print, if I just say over here hello, like this and press enter, it will print hello over here. So over here, we are going to write out Python code. But obviously, we are not going to write out Python code over here. So right now, I will just close this one. And right now, what we are going to do is that in order to write our Python code, we are going to install PyCharm. So I will just close this. And here, we need to search over here PyCharm. So just search for PyCharm and here you can see PyCharm, uh, the Python ID for data size and web something. So I click on this and I will also give this link in the description. So after coming here, here you can see the download option, full fledged professional or free community. So I'll just click on download. So here you can see Python professional. Now this is a pain version. So right now if you go down, you need to search for or you need to look for PyCharm Community Edition. So the Community Edition is free and you can do everything with Community Edition. So there is no need to buy the PyCharm Professional. We can do everything with PyCharm Community Edition. So here you can see the download option and this is totally free. So right now I click on download and there you can see it is downloading and it is around 475 MB so right now I will just fast forward the video so there you can see that installation is complete so I will just double click over here and then here what you need to do is that you need to click over here the next option just click on next and it will show when it will install PyCharm and for installing PyCharm the space required is 1.7 GB okay so right now i'll just click on next over here so right now i just click check for all those file over here then click next then here again see jetbeans jetbeans is fine so right now i'll just click install right now for jetbeans so right now i'll just click install and it will start installing so this may take some time to install so right now i will just fast for the video and after the installation is complete here you can see uh, we should reboot now actually if you are installing PyCharm you should reboot but but I will just manually reboot it later so I'll just click on finish over here and 
there you go python is installed right now so here you can see python is over here and you can also search over here pycharm and you will see something like this so if i now just click over here and there you can see pycharm is running so right now i confirm that i have read and accept the terms and condition whatever so i'll just click check it and then click continue and here i'll just click over here don't send and there you go so here pycharm is installed and import setting visual studio code i'll just skip import over here and there you go pycharm is open right now so here you can see new project option over here so i'll just click on new project and here you can see it is giving a default name over here python project this is over here python project first you can give it any name or if you want you can give different name over here as well but i'll just keep this name and here it is saying that at this location the project will be created so you can change the location if you want but we we'll keep it the way it is and get it repository no there is no need and there's uh, there you can see there is a few more option over here so here make sure that uh, the python version is selected over here like this the python dot is over here okay and uh, those are not needed and here you can see a uh, custom environment i think everything is fine over here so right now i'll just click on this create button i'll click on create and a python project will be created and there you can see python project first is written over here so right now here you can see in this project there is some file over here which is created by python automatically so right now i'll just right click on my python first project and here i'll click on new and here you can see python file option or you can also click on this file option if you click on this file option it will create a random file but what we are going to do is that we are going to create a python file so i'll click on new and here you can see python file click on python file and then we need to give it a note and let's say you can see one here index or you can see over here test whatever doesn't matter just give a name and then press enter and there you can see there is a test.py file is created over there so right now if you want to write anything for example let's say we want to print hello so for it we, are, we need to show here print to files ranked to our position and we are going to show here hello hello my python just save it and after that here you can see the run option run test.py so right now if i just click on this button here you can see it is saying hello my python and let's show it here hello first tutorial and press this play button and here you can see it says hello first tutorial so we are able to install python and create a python project so this is all for the tutorial so thank you very much for watching and you see pay any link for the python tutorial for beginner on the screen so thank you very much for watching make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorial